This video tutorial will cover the use of QuickAd for specimen entry in WebLDMS. If you participate on a clinical trial network that utilizes preloads or templates, please review that video. In order to create a new specimen entry in WebLDMS, you will simply fill out the applicable fields in the QuickAd form. And we start at the top of the form under participant information. Type in your project and select. Once the project is chosen, you're asked if you wish to load the default visit values for that project, PID, and protocol. Choose yes. And for this project, note that the visit unit has auto populated. Return to the participant information section and enter your PID. Note as I'm typing, it's filtering through the available participants in my LDMS. When you make your initial entry for a participant, it'll be a brand new PID. Every subsequent entry, it'll be available in this menu and you can select it. Move to the enrollment information and enter in the protocol. Click once on the date and it is then entered into the field. Continue with the visit value and our visit unit was entered for us. Our next section is for our primaries. Add a new primary to this draw by clicking the add new button over to the right at the top of the grid. A line will appear. The primary type will be auto set to BLD or whole blood. You can change the primary if necessary. The next field is additive type. The condition code defaults to satisfactory. Our collection time or time of draw. This is a 24 hour calendar. My receive time, and the volume of my primary. With the primary highlighted in blue, we can now add aliquots to it. In our aliquot grid, we see the badge above the section shows what primary number is highlighted. Click Add New above the grid. It will create one line. To the left, enumerate your total aliquots. Enter your derivative type. For this example, I will use PL1 for single spun plasma. We have our sub add to derivative, our condition code, and then the volume and volume unit. If you have processing information available at this time, click the edit button next to the primary specimen. You can enter in any of the processing information and click save. The aliquots also have their own edit menu as well. If you do not have processing information at this time, review our video on the use of filters and the addition of post-processing information to the specimen record in specimen management. This record is able to be added to our system and we will do so by clicking the add button at the bottom center. At the top of the screen I have a success message and my aliquots are enumerated. I have two aliquots of single spun plasma at one milliliter apiece. Thank you for watching this video. Further information is available on the LDMS website, ldms.org, under the resources tab, or you may always contact your support with any questions following the contact us information on the website.